Hello everyone. In continuation with the Fourier series, we'll be going ahead with the Fourier series expansion. Uh, we will be dealing uh, in the period two pi type of questions, and this is a part two. So the question says that uh, find the Fourier series of f of x is one by two times pi minus x in the interval zero to two pi. In the interval zero to two pi, hence deduce pi by four is equals to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 7 and so on. So that means what? This is the first question I need to address and this is the second question I need to address. Let me just to put the question in two parts. So again, this is 0 to 2 pi as we have done the same type of question in the last, in the uh, previous session where the interval has been given as 0 to 2 pi. So again, if we we'll compare this interval 0 to 2 pi with 0 c to c plus 2l, I'm going to get it as, so this is nothing but comparing, so it's like this, C will be getting compared with 0 and C plus 2L will be getting compared with 2 pi. So from again, we'll be getting this L is equals to pi, this is what we are interested in, we are not interested in the value of C here. And therefore, the formula for this particular Fourier series in the interval 0 to 2 pi would be A0 plus summation of A in cos of Nx plus plus summation of b and sine of nx and both the cases n is going from 1 to infinity. So under that a0 is nothing but 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx and therefore if I'll just put the value of f of x is 1 by 2 times pi minus x dx it is nothing but now it's 1 by 2 it's a constant will come out it's 1 upon 4 pi and the bracket will be uh, the pi minus x the integration of pi minus x is pi x minus x square by 2 integration is from 0 to 2 pi so if we'll put the upper limit and the lower limit the lower limit will give me 0 because it's x is present over here in both the terms so this whenever I'm putting x equals to 0 both the terms will go to 0 and therefore you can say that this is nothing but the lower term as 0 what will happen to upper upper, uh, upper term here so pi x is 2 pi so it's 2 pi square minus 2 pi square so just by putting the upper limit minus the lower limit will be getting this which is same as which is same as equals to 0 here. So this is what, what I have got it as the final answer. So we have got it as a0 is equals to 0. Okay. An is 1 upon pi integration 0 to 2 pi f of x cos of nx dx. Again, we'll put the value of fx, which is 1 by 2 pi minus x. And which is same as now here, 1 by 2 is constant. It will come out of the bracket or you can say the integration. And you will remain here with pi minus x into cos of nx. Again, the first and the second function. Now, this is the first function. This is the second function here according to LIT rule. So, this first function as it is into integration of the second will give us sine of nx upon n. Now, this is not a first function. Now, this is the first function. And this is not the second. This becomes the second. minus minus so this is first function so first function becomes here pi minus six the differentiation of this function will be minus one here so into integration of the second function that is sine of nx upon n so sine of nx upon n the integration of this function will give me minus of cos of nx pi n square integration from zero to two pi and what will be the next now this becomes the first function this becomes the second and the role of this two function will get changed and therefore the next term would be equals to plus times zero and so we did not have to write down the first term, next terms and therefore it is equals to just by putting the upper limit i will observe here it's a sine of nx what we have discussed in the last time also the sine of nx becomes zero when n is equal when x is equals to 2 pi and when x is equals to 0. So both the term, both the time, this, this becomes, this sine of nx term becomes 0. And therefore, we have to just deal with this particular one term. We have got 1, 2, 3 negative sign here. And that, that is what we have, will be getting one negative sign here. So upper limit will be going, going to get us 2 pi. So cos of 2n pi, right? So 2n pi n square plus this x becomes 0 here and therefore it becomes here cos of 0. So cos of 0 upon n square. So we have got this and which is equals to again here equals to c. Clear? So this is what is the value of an. So we have got a0 as 0. We have got an is also equals to 
zero. Yeah, this is the reason for this one because cos of two and pi and cos of zero becomes one, and therefore this minus one upon n square plus one upon n square will give me zero. What is bn? bn is one upon pi integration zero to two pi f of x sine of nx dx, which is one upon two pi. So again, here this is the uh, f of x is pi minus x and sine of nx. So this is first function, second function, first function as it is, and into the integration of the second function becomes here, which is minus cos of nx upon n. Then now this becomes first. This is becomes second. So differentiation of the first function will give me minus one here. And integration of the second function is minus of sine of nx upon n square. The same what we have done. Again, this becomes first. This is becomes second. This is not a function now. And the next function is plus. Differentiation of the minus one will give me zero, and the rest of all the terms will keep giving giving you as zero. Now again, if you we'll observe, this sine of nx term is there in the second case. So again, this term will go to zero. This term will go to zero for x is equals to two pi. And for x is equals to zero, so I need not to consider this second term. So I have to just consider the first term. So what will happen whenever I am putting x is equals to two pi? So it will give me pi minus two pi, right? So which is minus pi, and x is getting converted. X is getting uh, replaced as two pi, so it's cos of two n pi here minus again the same term I have to consider because this term is not working here because it's already I have explained this is equals to zero, so x is equals to zero, and uh, this x is equals to zero. So pi minus zero, cos of zero. So it is minus of pi minus cos of zero by n, and therefore the reason is this. This is what the reason we have defined, and therefore uh, it's minus pi minus cos of two n pi. So cos of two n pi cos of zero becomes one here, and therefore it is minus minus plus. And this also minus minus plus, and therefore it is pi upon n plus pi upon n. You will get it as one by n. So b n the value of b n becomes here one by n as the value for b n. Now this is the Fourier series. I have just purposely put the uh, the same thing what we have discussed in the first page or first uh, slide. The same thing a zero plus summation of a n cos of n x plus b n. So every every value will be putting up here because as we have got this as zero. This has also zero, and b n we have got it as one by n. Only that value will come in the function, or you can say in the Fourier series expansion. This becomes here just by putting the value of f of x. It's one by two times pi minus x sine of x. So if when n b n is equals to one, it is one by one sine of x. N is two, so this is the first term when n equals to one. When n is two, it is one by two sine of two x. So this is the second term n equals to two. n equals to three one by three sine of three x n is equals to three and so on. So this is nothing but an expansion. So this is known as a Fourier series expansion of this particular function one by two times pi minus x. So what is the, uh, so that means what we have addressed the question number one. So we have to do for the second one. What is the question? The question is hence deduce pi upon four one minus one by three and so on. So this is what is we have got it the Fourier series from this. The previous uh, slide, and therefore I have to decide from where I'm going to get this pi by four is equals to one minus one by three plus one by four minus one by seven and so on. So if you we'll observe this particular series, if you we'll observe this particular series, it's a one, right? Minus one by three. That means what? This this one by two term is absent, right? One by two times this is absent. Again, this is not present. So that means what I need not to consider this. That means I this should not be present here. I am getting just odd terms, and that is also with opposite signs like plus minus plus minus. And what is happening to the other side? Other side it's one by two pi minus x, and I I'm what I want that particular size as pi by four. So what is the value? So that value becomes pi x is equals to pi by two. Why is that so? So if you if you observe this, if I put x is equals to pi by two. The sine of pi by two, I'm going to get it as one. And therefore, uh, so it's sine pi by two plus one by two times sine of pi plus one by two times sine of three pi by two, and so on. So I am getting this pi because of pi by two. Because of pi by two, this because this second this first term becomes here one. Second term is sine of pi will give me zero because I I don't want this term. So I am I am choosing the value of this 
sign in such a way that my this odd this this one by four one by two one by six kind of terms should go to zero and therefore what what is the correct value for this and again this value should lie this pi by two should lie between the range zero to two pi that is also very important we cannot take this the value of x beyond this limit beyond this zero to two pi interval and what is happening in the lhs side it's one by two it's pi minus pi minus pi by two will pi minus pi by two will give me this pi by two clear and therefore just by solving this particular series you'll be getting it pi by four equals to one minus one by three plus one by five minus one by seven and so on this is what is a power the Fourier series expansion hence the deduction part for this particular uh, function every time you it, it is very good for you to uh, write the series in this format so that you will uh, automatically see oh for this particular x i can take this value i can take this value can i can i go for this can i go for that value of x so that i am going to get this particular series and this is the self observation slide I have given only two questions, which is an algebraic questions like f of x is x, f of x is x squared. The interval I have kept it is the same, zero to two pi. I'm still working for few more uh, sessions, two pi, because there are different varieties of problems. So few more sessions will be there based on this zero to two pi, and uh, most probably I'll be explaining the problems which are having uh, different concepts and i there there is something for me to explain you all thank you happy learning